I'm a nurse practitioner and also a physician assistant. Um, that's one hat. Mm -hmm. I'm an assistant professor for the University of Alaska in Anchorage, and also I'm a forensic consultant. Very good. And so what do you do? Well, Carol, I work at Hamilton Medical Center in Dalton, Georgia, so I'm in the inpatient setting. So um, our hospital is a community hospital, so I serve not only the inpatient community, I serve our community at large. To me, initially, forensic nursing meant anything that dealt with truth and the legal system and that engagement. But having been through this program, that definition has really been expanded, and I realize now how broad the field is and how many avenues there are that a person can venture into with this profession. You know, it's definitely a very broad and diverse ability. I like the idea that uh, with forensic nursing that I get to work interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary, um, both on an individual basis, but also a community basis. University of Tennessee's program has not only excellent mentors, such as Dr. Susan Patton and Dr. Patricia Speck, but it had a program that was unique and one of the only programs in the world. I chose UT because, for one reason, I'm a Tennessee resident, and when I was searching programs, this was the only forensic doctoral program in the nation, I believe, in the world. And after having chosen it, even though the choices were limited, I'm very pleased with my choice. Uh, the program's been wonderful. I've grown professionally. I've developed personal relationships that I expect will be lifelong relationships. What your area of focus has been with children, mm -hmm. but you know what I see is that in my area of focus has been with sexually abused children too and adults. But I do see that um, I'm, my area is going to evolve into the district attorney's office, uh, working with them, consulting as a uh, as an expert, uh, consulting within the criminal justice system. I do focus on children, sexually abused children, physically abused children, and in doing that and being part of the child fatality task force, I've also realized that. Legislation is a big issue and it needs to be looked at, it needs to be addressed. And again, being able to pull those pieces together, I think that as a doctoral prepared forensic nurse, they're going to listen to us. One of the benefits is that it's very informal. Uh, we joked in the beginning about going to class in our pajamas and I venture to say that some of us did that. You save a lot of gas. <laughs> Without it being online, I wouldn't have been here. Like I said, I had to work full time, so I did not have the luxury or the leisure of quitting work to go to school full time. So. Um, I'm going to make a difference for my community because of this education that I received at UT. There's just so many opportunities. I already have had doors open for me as a result of getting this DMP that I never would have dreamed possible. Mm -hmm. With my degree, there are several things I'd like to do. First, we're going to begin a sexual assault nurse examiner program for pediatrics at our local children's hospital. The second thing I'd like to do is to expand nursing education to include forensic concepts on the undergraduate as well as the graduate level. And lastly, in our state, we have eight state-run hospitals, which I would like to see centers of excellence in forensic nursing started in those eight hospitals. What are we, the class? We're the class. <laughs> We're the forensic. We're the class nursing. clowns. <laughs> We're the class of 2008 and loving it. Do we need to say DNP forensic? Do we have to say We are the DNP forensic <laughs> class of 2008. Okay. What are we saying? We are, we are the class of 2008 forensic. Forensic DNP. Tell them what fun these forensic people are. Xanax. Xanax. Xanax.